All right, Shalawan, Shalawan, Mr. Brother Zachariah coming back to you with another uh, lesson here on this uh, Saturday. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. Shalom to you brothers out there that are laboring and during the elements, making your body a living sacrifice, trying to seal the elect, making your calling election assured, seeking out your own salvation, as well as you sisters that are learning, listening, applying, being obedient to your husband. Shalom, shalom, okay? And uh, I, I believe I might call this lesson snares and traps, uh, Esau's uh, one-sit burgers, or something to that degree, okay? And so that's what the, we're pretty much going to talk about on this lesson, you know? Uh, this devil man he uh he does uh he sets many traps with our people in one way uh he make war war with uh the israelites is uh by way of his food you know you know the scriptures tell you you eat defiled bread which i'm going to bring that scripture out a little later but uh, i want to start off with uh the book of Sirach, uh chapter 12 verse 10 and it says never trust thy enemy for like as uh iron rusteth, so is his wickedness okay and uh, verse 11, it says, Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him um, as if thou hast uh, wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. So, you know, a lot of our people, they think this man is trustworthy. He's cool. You can be buddy-buddy with him. You know, you can marry his women. And, and everything's sweet. Everything's cool. But... You know this man and and even the Edomite woman they 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 hate Jake. You know they hate us. They hate uh, us Israelites. You know even if they uh, you marry them, you have children with them and stuff. Uh, they you know look at the situation with Holly Berry. You know she thought everything was sweet and dudes calling her the N word and and he wants the, the their daughter to look more you know uh, European, which. Technically, the child is an Edomite because you are what your father is. So, you know, he ain't in the wrong. He wants the, the daughter to uh, adapt to his ways and his customs because she's of that nation, you know. But uh, Holly don't get it, you know. <clears throat> but uh, this man can't be trusted, man. You know, this is why, like, even when we come into this truth, before this truth, you know, we... Um, we were eating just anything. We were eating food. We didn't have no knowledge of whether it was good or bad. And, and now that we come into this truth, you know, it, it has it, it has you now in these grocery stores reading food labels, you know, and you're seeing so much uh, chemicals in the food to where you, you know, and I remember this one guy, uh, when I first woke up to the truth, man, knowing I'm an Israelite, there was this one guy, uh, he was he said something in one of his lessons and it, and it stuck with me man it was like he said when you come into this truth and you understand uh the the stuff that they do to the food he said you will leave out of the grocery store with very little you'll realize that most of the stuff in there is defiled okay so we're gonna go ahead and dive into this we're gonna go into the first article i got a several articles so you know just bear with me and i'm gonna bring out some precepts as well but um this first one, it says, uh, Wendy's is selling junior bacon cheeseburgers for one cent for four days. Okay. And, um, you know, obviously bacon comes from the swine, the pig, unless it's turkey bacon, but we know that they're using the swine. So it's not, it ain't no good. All right. And this was back on the 14th. It says, when was the last time you bought something with a penny? And it says, never. Well, America's foremost fast food redhead is here to change that wendy's confirmed to today.com that it is running a deal in celebration of national cheeseburger day on september 18th that makes that just makes sense from september 18th to the 22nd wendy's customers can snag a junior bacon cheeseburger for just a penny with any purchase okay so that's all I'm going to read on it. It's probably more, but, you know, I just wanted to just bring that part out, you know, um, as well as uh, Burger King is getting in on this as well. OK, it says how to get a free cheeseburger from Burger King on National Cheeseburger Day. Plus, the king is offering a week's worth of deals in honor of the unofficial holiday. OK, it says after Sunday, fun day, get ready for a truly beefy uh, Monday on September 18th, Burger King will ring a National Cheeseburger Day by offering a beefy freebie to customers across the country. On the big day, members of the chain's Royal Perks loyalty 
program will be able to score a free cheeseburger with any purchase of one dollar or more it is indeed that easy okay so burger king is getting in on it okay not that one we're gonna jump to this one here real quick all right now people's magazine okay and this was on the 15th it says mcdonald's is giving out 50 cent double cheeseburgers uh in honor of national cheeseburger day okay and it says the new deal is available on september 18th all right and it says in honor of the foodie holiday fans of the golden arches can snag a sweet deal on september 18th only mcdonald's is offering 50 cent double cheeseburgers with no purchase necessary to snag the tasty offer customers must order on the mcdonald's app okay and um yeah that's all i'll read on that so you know the, these people man they're putting some something far far sinister is is coming you know and you know if you're not in the spirit you won't know you know a lot of people will jump on this you know um and this ain't the only time these devils have done this stuff you know you know they got that movie uh they clone tyrone you know where they they were doing stuff to the chicken on the food you know you know and um they were all eating it and if you watch the movie i was going to play the clip in this lesson but uh you know they'll probably try to take my lesson down or give me a strike or something for using that clip so i don't want to jump you know you know you got to be wise when you put these lessons together but i'm just talking about it you know but you can go watch the movie if you haven't seen it already it's called they clone tyrone it's starring jamie fox but it was very it's very spiritual and it's a lot of a lot of uh stuff they put a lot of stuff in it you know and um they show you how they do stuff to the food man and it, it was it makes make you um everyone feel a certain way you know they all were in there eating the chicken and they just all just bust out laughing you know but uh here's another article here and this is the daily dot which i actually have a video clip to go with this it's about three minutes long but it says it's not predicting its plan okay it said did the simpsons predict one sit cheeseburgers from wendy's and mcdonald's all right and uh, the question is uh they did not predict it because the guy that uh runs the simpsons he's a high level mason and these devils had this stuff already set in motion from for a very long time you know it's just all about you know the timing it's all about timing the money and where they can have the masses at you know you know we're, we're, you know just certain periods of times they but they had this they, they don't just do this stuff off the spur of the moment this stuff has been planned for for uh decades okay so the simpsons is not really predicting anything you know uh really the men of the lord are the ones they can see cipher through the scriptures and tell you what times we're in this is why esau hates us so much he wants to he wants to be that guy and then he's looking and seeing how we are and, and we're not under that spell like a lot of our people are you know that haven't woken up to the truth okay and it uh it says i thought something was up as soon as they advertised it okay it says in a now viral TikTok, a keen observer of pop culture claimed that the national cheeseburger day celebration set for the next for next week might have been foretold in a classic episode of the simpsons hmm yeah the simpsons did it again for entertainment purposes only let's get right into it next week these three companies will be selling one cent cheeseburgers it's a promotion for national cheeseburgers day where you'll be able to buy cheeseburgers for a cent going through the apps of these wendy's is doing it from the 18th to the 22nd uh mcdonald's and burger king are doing it on the 18th mcdonald's is at 50 cent but listen all these companies are owned by the same people now i'm not going to say the person's name but um a famous computer person that's been experimenting with insects owns a lot of what's going on and a lot of the beef that's been sending out if you guys don't think that this is nefarious that there's not something behind all these cheap tainted burgers being sold at you at pennies on the top then you're bugging straight up now i'm going to show you a clip a simpsons clip where just watch Burger squared. 
human to sample this delicious crime against nature. <laughs> Juicy, flavorful, with just a hint of... Yeah, so if you haven't fasted, I would suggest you begin to do so. This next coming week is going to be very decisive, and things are going to start ballooning. There are things inside these products that you consume that are dormant that will be activated. There can be a lot of bad stuff going on. I myself gave up meat months ago. I'm a vegetarian. I, I, I don't eat flesh. I, I saw the writings on the wall. Things were just not right. And I've been fasting a lot. I keep that privately because that's between me and the Father. But I share that because I suggest you all do so. It's very important. And it's also going to cleanse your body. The time is near. Be very careful. Do not fall for it. Do not buy these burgers no matter how cheap they are. They're cheap for a reason. If it is too good to be true, it probably is. Seek Jesus. The time is now. They're trying to take out every single one of us. For entertainment purposes only. All right. And like I said, you know, Simpsons, you know, they could say, you know, oh, well, the Simpsons, they, uh, you know, they're predicting. They, they, they must know everything, you know, is happening. And it's all because, like I said, this guy that had the Simpsons, he's in on it. You know, all these people work in unison. OK, it's witchcraft and sorcery that they do. You know, and they do it through their TV shows and their movies and and all that. Their media, you know, it goes back to the word medium. OK. But this is Luke 8 and 10, and it says, And he said unto to you, it is given to know the mysteries of, of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that's, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they may not understand, okay? So, you know, uh, it's, it's really, it's given unto us. You know, scriptures also say he showeth his word unto Jacob, okay? You know, which Jacob, you know, go, goes into the Israelites, Okay? All right, so uh, I want to bring out a couple of precepts, you know, here. And, um, you know, you just got to understand, man, this devil, man, um, all this stuff has been playing and he's very sinister. But whenever they try to sell you things, you know, for like as low as a penny or, or even give it away free, you know, something's up. You know, they pushing the, the, the juice. They, they're, tell, they're selling you, which I had an article where they were talking about giving you the uh the, the juice and you don't even have to have health care or health insurance or none of that to, to uh to get it you know what i'm saying they're giving them out for free you know this is this is the uh this devil that we're dealing with but this is psalms 55 and 21 all right the words of his mouth were smoother than butter okay but war is in his heart so he has war in his heart you know and this man will give you a poisonous cheeseburger you know that's his way of being smooth. Hey, this is free, you know? And uh, I, I got kin folk that think like that. You know, they, you know, this devil will offer free stuff and they'll go get it and say, it was free. It was free. And I'm like, free don't always mean good, you know? And that's why my family don't really rock with me like that because I was saying that even before this truth. I just always knew, like, you know, it's like, yeah, how about Shimei was shy, gave me common sense to just know, like, certain things, you know, it's like, man, it's just not right. <laughs> You know, just because something free don't mean it's good, you know, but that's the mindset of a lot of these people. And that's why they'll be taken by this devil. OK, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The war was in his heart. OK, and it says his words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. OK, and this dude draws swords, man, many in many ways. You know, the sword can, can mean a lot of things. You know, his his. Uh so-called shots or whatever you want to say you know i want to be careful with how i say it but th those are um that's part of the sword that's his devil sword okay so you want to be careful all right this is psalm 64 and 5 and it says they encourage themselves in an evil mat matter okay they commune of laying snares privately they say who shall see them okay so this is their their uh their type of mindset 
you know remember job 9 24 the earth is given into the hands of the wicked so the the uh wicked that are ruling is esau edom you know going back to second ezra uh six uh chapter verse nine where it says you know esau is the end of the world letting you know that and we you if you don't if you can't tell that we're at the end right now then i don't know what to tell you you know looking at the state that this earth is in right now you know and so obviously the the uh Edomites will be ruling and who are the ones that put out these sanctions tell you you can't do this and do that and and everything that they push and promote is contrary to the ways of of the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah man so it's it's no secret that the so-called white man is Esau Edom okay like we've been telling you but this dude pushes a narrative to where like you even say anything about them then you're racist you're all these things but we don't care what this man says or what people think you know because we we standing on righteousness and what the word says but again they encourage themselves in an evil matter they commune or laying snares privately they say who shall see them okay so this is the type of uh, devil we're dealing with okay and just to elaborate more on it this is uh micah 2 and 1 says woe to them that devises iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in their uh power of their hand like i said with job 9 24 the earth is given into the hands of the wicked you know this is a precept to that man just letting you know all right look and, and just to even go even deeper proverbs 4 and 16 for they sleep not except they have done mischief okay so basically telling you these people don't even sleep unless they have done evil okay and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. So, you know, they, they, they have sleepless nights unless they, they have caused someone to fall. So they'll sleep good knowing that they done made a lot of you eat these poisonous cheeseburgers. So, you know, something's, something's up with it, okay? And you know how I was talking about that clone Tyrone and the uh, chicken and all that? Well, you know, like I said, nothing new under the sun. You know, you go back to like, what was it, 2019? You know, they had the Popeye's chicken uh thing going on and and people were in lines it was out outside of the um building waiting to get in to get the chicken you know and, and they was going crazy over those chicken sandwiches well you know someone lost their life you know and i'm sure there was other cases but this was one that really you know it jumped out and it says you know man arrested in fatal stabbing over popeye's chicken sandwich in maryland the 30 year old is facing murder and assault charges in deadly fight that police say started when the victim cut in line for people waiting for sandwich <laughs> you know this is crazy man this is a, a man accused of uh of fatally stabbing another man in a fight over a chicken sandwich outside of popeye's restaurant has been arrested in maryland police said all right and that's all i'm gonna read on it but i'm just letting you know the spirit that was on people you know to get these sandwiches people were going crazy man all right they put they they put stuff in this food man you know, and, it, and the scriptures is on point. You know, Ezekiel 4 and 13, you know, it tells you that you would, that, you know, the children of Israel would eat the foul bread. And that's not just talking about bread. You know, another way of speaking of food is saying bread, okay? But um, it says, Ezekiel 4 and 13, it says, And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither, uh, whither I will drive them. You know, so wherever we go, and you know, it's not just Babylon. There's defiled bread in all these countries. You see how a lot of these people eat and how they prepare foods. A lot of them are putting food together with their bare hands in it. You know, I've seen where they spit in the food and stir it and people eat it. You know, it, it they're not washing their hands, you know. So, you know, these people don't, these heathens don't move like Jake. They're not like us, man. And that's why we can't just be eating this any old thing. Okay, and then, you know, being in line for these crazy chicken sandwiches and poisonous hamburgers. All right, this is Exodus 23 and 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak um, in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Okay, but the, the point is, you know, not to follow a multitude to do evil, you know, going in line to uh, get, get this defiled food, man, you know, so you know uh this is this is a, a heavy thing you know you start to look at these um situations you know uh or these things coming up you know these uh cheap burgers being put out you know the scriptures tell you not to eat bacon and there's they're selling you a junior bacon for one cent 
you know, and people are going to go be in line to go get it. You know, a lot of Israelites, you know. You know, another another heavy thing about these restaurants is, is spiritual is uh, when you go back to Genesis and look at how uh, Esau was faint and, and, you know, from hunting, he had an unsuccessful hunt and he was hungry. And, you know, this dude's a drama queen. He made it look like, you know, oh, I'm about to die. You know, I got to eat something. Well, Jacob was in the middle of cooking some food and it wasn't done. And he he sold his birthright to for that uh, uncooked food, you know. And now you got, while this devil is ruling, you got something called um, fast food, you know, fast food. So this is, that that's really where that, that uh, comes about, you know, for, for those that are new into the truth, you know. This devil created fast food, you know, off of that. It's the spirit that's on them. They want their food right now. They don't want to wait, you know, in a, in a, um, a so-called, I guess, you know, I'll say, say the word black, but so-called black household, you know, like when we do like, um, even in, in probably a lot of Hispanic, um, households too, you know, when they, they get together family and they do big cook, big dinners, it takes, it takes some hours to put that food together, you know? So you, you'll be waiting around and you're like, man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You know, and it's waiting, but the food going to be, you know, it's worth the wait. It's going to be on point, but you know, Esau and them are not like that. They, they they try to fix it real good. That's why the food don't be done. You know, they like their meat raw. You know, they don't want to cook it. You know, that's the spirit on them. So you have to watch out with these fast food joints. I haven't ate fast food ever since I really came into this truth. I started to realize that a lot of the stuff, you know, is, is not right and it's defiled. You know, I think they even said that um, that, that st the Taco Bell, you know, um, is a... Uh, when you eat Taco Bell, that's not even real beef. That's a horse. That some have said it's horse meat. But I have, uh, I got some Issacharites that live not far from me, and they have their own business. They sell like authentic Mexican food, and I, oh man, I, I, I give them my business. You know what I'm saying? Because you know those are our people, so I don't mind breaking bread with them, and and I get good, good, you know, authentic uh, Mexican food, man. So, you know, call a lawyer, how about you, Shia for that? You know, I love eating that, 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 uh, that food, man. I, I never go eat no Taco Bell. You know, I'll break bread with my peoples, you know, and, and, and get authentic food, the, uh, the real tacos and stuff and burritos and stuff. Not that stuff. I, I believe they're selling horse meat, which eating that is going off. That's why they, you know, they make the jokes like when you eat Taco Bell, it'll put you on the toilet. Yeah, because that you, your body's rejecting that stuff. You're not supposed to be eating that, you know. When you have diarrhea, that shows that something ain't right. You done ate something that's not right, man. Okay, but uh, that's all I'm gonna say on this. Lord willing, this was edifying, you know. And uh, please, you know, don't go uh, eating those uh, burgers, man. That stuff ain't right. Don't, you know, like I, I started off earlier. Never trust thy enemy. Okay. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honor, all glory, and all praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of the nation of Israel. And shalom to you, brothers and sisters out there. Until the next one, shalom.